These are the latest images coming in from the Middle East tonight. Israel is at war with Hamas, continuing to strike Gaza now in response to attacks over the weekend. The death toll is climbing 1,400 people so far, with thousands more hurt. Dozens of people are believed to be held in Gaza, and they are not all Israelis. President Biden tonight says 11 Americans are dead, others are missing, and the government believes Americans could be among hostages. Good evening, everybody. I'm Mike Woolfolk. And I'm Stella Daskalakis. The conflict is putting many people on edge in the U.S., including here in Michigan. Courtney Bennett is with us now with some local reaction. You spoke with a rabbi this afternoon, Courtney. What's he telling you? Mike and Stella, as you can imagine, Rabbi Weingarten is devastated watching this war unfold. And as we just showed, violence continues right now. The developments that are coming out are just horrendous. It's just un unbelievable that something like this can, atrocities like this can happen today. Rabbi Yisrael Weingarten is co-director of Chabad House of Eastern Michigan, and he's worried about family and close friends in Israel. They are safe, but it's, uh, the safety is unpredictable at this point in time. And with airstrikes continuing, Rabbi Weingarten's concerns appear justified. The shelters that they go, go to, and unfortunately they've been running there quite a bit. More than a thousand people have been killed since the attack started over the weekend. Rabbi Weingarten calls it a very dark time. That we see ourselves as one family. Every death or injury, God forbid, is a direct stab in our collective heart. That's the way we see it. We grieve for those lost and we pray for the bereaved who lost their loved ones. Democrat Congressman Dan Kildee visiting Flint Monday calls the unfolding war tragic. The hope is that we can uh, get to a point where we're negotiating peaceful resolution to these longstanding disputes and not have it fall into this terrible cycle of violence. So my thoughts go out to the people of Israel, the people of Gaza, and we hope we can bring this to an end soon. The death toll continues to climb in both Israel and Gaza. Rabbi Weingarten says anyone looking for ways to help those impacted can reach out to Chabad House of Eastern Michigan. You can see their number on your screen. We'll also put that on our websites. Live in the studio, Courtney Bennett in Michigan Now.